Breaking, Kanai West has something to say about Trump. Over the weekend, controversial rapper M. Kanai West was pressed on his support for Trump, and he did not hold back. See what he has to say about how he feels about the former president. Yeah, I had to tweet to but really- you had a red hat on at the time, though? No, no, this is after I had a red hat, but I still got a red hat on today. I'll let y'all know that. <laughs> I might not got it on, but I'll let y'all know where I stand. <laughs> yeah. will make you proud to be a church-going American. Recently, a bad guy with a gun attacked a church full of people. People were helpless. Lives were at risk. But this pastor wasn't going to let his congregation go down without a fight. He tackled the gunman and saved everyone in the building. Total hero. And when I saw him looking this way and pointing the gun this way, I pushed the chair and I ran. Pastor Ezekiel Dikumana is being deemed a hero after his quick action saved the lives of a packed church. Choir member Zerbi Bugambi Noe, who is also in the front row, translates for him. He wanted to kill. That's what I first thing came to my mind. Members of the Nashville Light Mission Pentecostal Church share video of the moment Desire Baganda walks up to the front and waves a gun at the congregation. That's when Pastor Ezekiel pretends to leave, but instead tackles Baganda and churchgoers hold him down until police could arrive. I would say that God used me because I felt like I was going to use the back door as an example as going out by trying to go behind it. What? This is a terrible thing to say to Americans in crisis. With gas prices rising all over the country, many Americans are already worried about how they will heat their homes in the winter. The Biden administration seems completely unconcerned. In fact, they don't seem to mind the idea of it getting even worse. Watch Biden's controller of the currency explain her wish for the future of oil and gas companies. For certain uh, troubled industries and firms that are in transitioning. And here what I'm thinking about is primarily coal industry and oil and gas industry. A lot of the smaller players in that industry are uh, going to probably uh, go bankrupt in, in, in short order. At least we want them to go bankrupt if we want to tackle climate change, right?